Okay, hello, and welcome to the lower body uh, workout here. So, simply put, we're gonna do 18 exercises, 18 rounds, not necessarily 18 exercises, but 18 rounds of exercise, uh, all based on hips downwards, so glutes, hamstrings, quads, um, and your calves will get a bit of a workout as well, but not specifically. Um, so, basically, just follow as I do. We're gonna get you warmed up first, but pretty much off the cusp, we're just gonna see how this goes. Uh, but expect to get some serious leg burn going on here and some glute burn and hamstring burn, even possibly cramp if we're playing it right. <laughs> uh, so anyway, I'm just gonna clear the kettlebell. All you need is the kettlebell uh, and we're gonna, or some sort of dumbbell or something, you can replace the kettlebell with a dumbbell. Um, but yeah, that is something that you probably will need and a bit of space to lie down. But we're just gonna get the legs a bit loose by doing some side swings. Uh, not too long to get warmed up. We're gonna jump pretty much straight into it. Keep it nice and short. Every single round of exercise we're doing is 45 seconds long, and every single breather, it's gonna switch over, is 15 seconds long. So basically it's 18 rounds of 45 seconds with 15 second recovery in between is the, is the aim anyway. So uh, I'm just gonna do some bodyweight squats now just to get us warmed up because we're gonna be doing lots of squats today as per usual. So I'm just trying to sit myself down nice and low, so from side on, looks like this, nice depth, nice straight spine, etc. cetera. Uh, we're definitely gonna get the burn going today. Um, so simply put, the, I can tell you for now, the first movement that we're going to do are going to be some uh, squats, funny enough. <laughs> uh, okay, that'll do. I'm feeling sufficiently warm just to get the hips a little bit looser, etc. So let's crack on straight away. But basically, I don't even know what I'm going to do yet. You don't know what I'm going to do. We'll find out. Uh, so let's start off with the king of all exercises, the squat. And actually, to be honest, we'll start off with bodyweight squats again, just to push that warm up into a bit of a workout. So now from here on in, Follow as I do on screen, and let's have a cracking leg and lower body workout. So 45 seconds, first round coming up. It is going to be a lovely 45 seconds of body weight squats. So let's get ready to rock and roll. Uh, so three, two, one, and here we go. So again, I'll do it from front and from now. As you notice, when I squat, my knees are pushing outwards, just a fraction, or maybe mine quite a lot. Uh, basically, your knees should travel wherever your toes are going. So if my toes are further out, my knees will be further out. If they're more forward, I don't have to push my knees quite as far out. So it's all kind of much for muchness. The key thing is though, that we're sitting down nice and low. And when we get to the top, we're standing up nice and tall. It's up to you what you do with your hands. You can have them out in front of you like this. That's very common. Or you can do what I just do and have them tucked in sort of by your chest and face. I'm putting most of the weight through my ankle area so I don't come on my toes. But this will be round number one up very shortly. So three, two, and one. Okay, cool. Next up, I'm gonna grab the kettlebell in. We're gonna go straight into a set of hamstrings. So deadlifts. Straight spine, down, like so, and back up. It's the opposite of a squat. Our legs are straighter. So three, two, one. Let's go. So soft knees, bum nice and high, nice and slow on the way down, and back up and squeeze, like so. So I'm going steady, Tempo on the way down, but relatively quick and relatively sharp on the way up. I'm trying to stretch out my hamstrings as I go down. So whatever it takes for you, but notice how my arms are relaxed. I'm just hanging the kettlebell down as I fall. But at the bottom there, I'm getting a lovely stretch on my hamstrings. So I'm keeping my bum high and I'm keeping my back nice and straight. Very important. Ten seconds. So final 10. Almost there. Three, two, and one. Okay, good. So we're actually gonna go back into another set of squats, but let's progress it a bit. Let's use a kettlebell. So we're gonna go for some sumo squats here. So basically just hold the weight down low like we just did, but now sit down, bend the knees. So three, two, one. So I'm holding it down low, but now I'm sitting, I'm bending. Hopefully you can see a big difference between this and the last movement. Notice how much my legs are bending now and how much lower I'm getting to the ground, massive difference. You should now feel this one a lot more in the quads. You may feel it a little bit in the knees. Um, if you do, just try to push your bum back a little bit further and try to put more weight through your heels. It tends to help. So again, you might already be starting to feel a bit of a burn and we're only around three in. So you probably get a bit of a gist of what's gonna happen by the 18th round. And good, okay, little breather. And let's go for one more round of deadlifts before we switch it up. So bum back now, 
opposites. That was quads, we're now hamstrings. So let's get ready. Round two of deadlifts. I'll go front on this time. So three, two, one, and let's go. So as you can see, my stance is relatively narrow. My toes are facing forward. And again, probably two to three seconds on the way down. But we are going from round number one all the way through to round number 18 here without any breather. Once you've got to round 18, that's it. There. It's gonna get out a lot of excuses to start off with here. You may also feel this one a bit in your lower back because everything we do, legs, involves your core, involves your back. So you do inevitably burn a bit, but every time you come to the top, squeeze your bum, really clench the bum at the top of each rep. So three, two, and one. Okay, good. Okay, final round of squats coming up. Let's do this. So rack up the weight this time, have it high on your chest, and we're gonna do some goblet squats. So let's get ready to go in three, two, one, and let's go. So up and down like so. Again, chest, key. If it's easier for you, by the way, you can hold it upwards like this. So let's go for that. A little bit easier. Helps you relax your arms a bit more in times of struggle, in times of need. You're looking to get your elbows nice and low down to your legs, by the way, for what it's worth. This will be our last set of squats for now. Keep pushing, final 10. And three, two, and one. Okay, good. Next up, let's do some glute bridges. Let's hit the glutes again. Again, probably one of my favorite movements, this one. Kettlebell on the hips, lying down, up, and squeeze the bum. So here we go. So three, two, one, and we're up. So up and squeeze. Again, I'm driving all the weight up through my heels and I'm squeezing my bum hard at the top of each rep. You may also feel this one in your hamstrings a lot as well, but that's perfect. Squeeze bum. Halfway there. Halfway. So it's just a little bit of a blitz this one today. All the way through to the 18th round, non-stop leg. I'm trying to organize it so it's uh, anterior and then posterior chain. So it's opposites at a time. Gives you a bit of recovery on either side. Almost there, so three, two, one. Good, nice. Okay, so next up, we're gonna go for a set of bodyweight lunges. So let's shift this out to the side. The next best movement for your quads. Uh, so hands on hips. I'm gonna alternate every leg. So right leg, left leg. So three, two, one. Here we go, so right leg, back to the middle, left leg. I'm stepping back every time. So reverse lunges, in my opinion, are safer. Put a little bit less stress on the patella and stepping forward and they're harder because you have to balance but anyone that knows me will know that i always pick the harder movements because life's too short he says so let's keep it going again trying to drop the knee down to the floor every time keeping a good steady tempo after this let's jump back on the floor another round of glute bridges. So there is some structure involved. Good, okay, glute bridge time. I'm gonna get that weight back in. Round two, back onto the floor for round number eight. So we'll be halfway there in a second. So let's get in position and let's get those hips driving up. So three, two, one, drive up the hips, squeeze the bum. All the weight is going through my heels. You can see that I'm coming up on my toes. So I'm coming off my toes. Squeeze, good, nice, good sort of tempo. Trying to match me step for step if we can. Next up we go there. back into another round of lunges as we approach the halfway point. Almost there, keep pushing through. Final 10. I'm really clenching the bum as hard as I can at the top of every single rep. Hopefully you're doing the same. So three, two, and one. Okay, good, squeeze that last one in. Okay, back to lunges again. This time, let's take a weight. 
So we're gonna focus on right leg first, then left leg second. So I'm gonna hold the kettlebell down low. I don't care what side you hold it on, just hold it on that side. So right leg first, I'm gonna hold the kettlebell in my left leg. When I hear the halfway beep, I'm gonna switch over arms and legs. But for what it's worth, the kettlebell should not be hitting the floor here. Your knee should get to the floor before the kettlebell. Hopefully, if the kettlebell's hitting the floor, it means you're leaning too far forward. You wanna to try to keep your back nice and straight. I'm gonna do one more, then switch over. Okay, now I'm switching. Halfway phase, hopefully you can see it a bit better on this side. Notice how my knee is touching the floor way before the kettlebell even gets close. A bit tougher now with the weight. So three, two, and one. Perfect. Uh, one more round of group bridges, the only difference this time. No weight required, pop it on the floor. I'm gonna go for single leg, so one leg at a time. You don't need a weight, so I'm gonna lay down, lift my one foot off the floor, and drive up as we go with this one side. Much tougher, if you can't do it, just stick to the weight and stick to two legs like we've done before. But if you can, give this a try. It's a great addition to any sort of workout. I'm up, I'm squeezing. This leg can stay bent, you don't have to worry about keeping it straight. Once I hear the halfway beep, I'm gonna switch over legs. There it is, so switching over. I actually quite like this one to bring my bum and feet closer together. So I've actually shifted my leg a bit higher here. I can feel it a bit more in my bum if I bring the leg a bit closer in on this side. Again, play around with what works well for you. So three, two, and one. Okay, good, very nice. Okay, let's now go back into lunges, but the alternate now is split squat. So we're gonna go back to body weight, keep the feet planted and go up and down. This is gonna burn. So three, let's go this way, two, one, and off we go. So literally, I'm planting my feet, but I'm still doing a lunge. I'm still going up and down, but my feet are now not moving. This is a real burner. And you go at a steady sort of speed. One thing you might notice that this leg never fully straightens. I'm always keeping the tension over this front leg. I'm gonna switch over now. Halfway there. Same on this leg, I'm gonna keep tension over this front leg. Keep going, 10 seconds. This movement will start to burn a lot more than most. Final three. And last one. Good, okay, so now we're gonna go into some balance. So grab a weight. We're gonna go for some single leg deadlifts. So left leg on the floor, hold the kettlebell in your right arm, and you go down and up like this. First half on one leg, second half on the other. So just follow me. Here we go, so I'm going down and up. Right, so I'll do it from side on. Balance is always tough, so I've upped the ante a little bit here. Again, if it's too tough, try it without a weight. But again, I'm passing the kettlebell down to my opposite toe here, so my right hand is holding it. I'm going down to my left toe. And I'm gonna switch over, that's the halfway point. And what you can see with this leg is that I'm not bending it too much, but likewise, I'm not keeping it dead straight either. I'm trying to stretch out the hamstrings here at the bottom, like so. So three, two, and one. Perfect, okay, so one more round now of lunges slash split squats, but this time progressing it to the weight. Same thing, same stance, just hold a weight down by your side. So, let's get ready to rock and roll. Here we go. Again, if you need to hold on something for your balance, a light touch, it doesn't matter. The main focus here is getting a good pump on the legs. But we're already at round 13 out of 18, so we're getting there now. Short, sharp, and brutal. So I'm gonna do one more, then switch over. Okay, I'm switching. Final 10 yet, legs are starting to shake a bit now and burn. That back heel is always staying off the floor. I'm keeping the tension over this front leg and perfect. Okay, now back into another round of single leg deadlifts. Let's try to make this round better than the first. 
I understand I'm chucking stuff at you here, but just follow along as best you can. You can always come back to revisit it other times. So three, two, one. Here we go, number one. I'm going at a decent speed here. My focus now is not balance, it's more so just getting a good pump on that glute and hamstring on the standing leg. Which is definitely happening now. We're gonna go for one more and then switch. Okay, now I'm switching. Keep going. And good. Okay, so now we're gonna go back into, as we close the workout off gradually, let's now focus on that burn. So let's double up on some sumo squats. Remember, one of the first ones we did, up and down, holding the weight low, but faster. So let's get ready. So three, two, one, here we go. So now I'm pumping these out a little bit more now, a little bit faster. As we wind up the workout, we sort of wind up the speed a bit as well. We chase the pump. So that involves going a bit faster, but still keeping solid technique. That's it from half and half. If you're doing this correctly by now, your legs, your glutes, pretty, pretty burny. This is around 15 of 18, so I've only got three rounds left after this. Keep it up. Here comes a bit of a back burn, but it's all muscular, doesn't matter for now. So three, two, one, good, okay. I'm now gonna shift this out uh, for a set of body weight, glute bridges, again, back on the floor, but I'm thinking quick reps here. So follow my speed. So two feet on the floor, standard glute bridge in three, two, one. But if you notice now, I'm pumping these at a much faster tempo, up and down, nice and quick. Again, squeeze and contract and bum at the top of each rep. Again, winding up that speed towards the end. There. Almost there now, keep pushing. Again, I'm going faster after this. We have two rounds left to do. And in a second, we're gonna go into our last round of split squats. Keep pushing. Oh, here comes that burn in the glutes, in the hamstrings. So three, two, and one. Okay, perfect. So penultimate round coming up, round 17. I want to grab that weight. Split squats again, up and down, in that fixed stance. Nothing exciting, just burn land now. So here we go. Penultimate round in three, two, one, and let's go. Again, I'm going to try to now go at a decent speed before we finish up with one more movement afterwards. Again, legs should be a bit more burny, now to say the least, than they were at the start. Balance might be a little bit affected because of it, but I'm gonna go for two more, then I'm gonna switch, so one more. Oh yes, switching over. There. You'll be relieved to get off of that side. But let's now put this side poo, poo? <laughs> put this side through, shall I say, the same pain. Jumbling my words as per usual. Ten seconds. Oh, here's that burn, come on. Keep pushing, final five seconds, four, Three, two, and one. Okay, good. And final movement to finish up everything. Back to those sumo squats. Pump them out nice and fast. Let's get as many reps done in that 45 seconds as ooh, possible. So here we go. So three, two, one, and off we go. I'm sitting down as low as I can, but I'm not quite touching the floor this time. I'm just going that bit faster. Ooh. I'm trying to get as much blood flow to my glutes, to my quads, to every part of my leg as possible for this last round. Here we go, come on, keep pushing, pushing the weight through my heels. Final 20 seconds, let's get that burn. Okay, final 12, We're almost there. Don't give up just yet. I'm still trying to sit as low as I can. Right, here we go, pick it up, last little bit, five, Four, three, two, and one. Oh yes, okay. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. That's good. 
I like it. I can feel the burn. Hopefully you can too. Sometimes when you're just trying to chase a pump or a burn, you don't need to do loads of exciting movements. You just need to try and test it once more times. So everyone knows that squats cause a burn. Everyone knows that lunges and split squats cause a serious burn. So why not just play off those three a bit more instead of doing all sorts of crazy movements. <laughs> to say it nicely. Um, but yeah, heart rate's up now. I'm gonna try to get it back down. But that's the workout done. You can stretch on your own accord. Um, enjoy that, but I will let you go. So I hope you enjoyed that. Reference the upper body workout that I've uploaded before. This one want to do the same thing just for up here. But I'll see you all in the next one. As always, thanks a lot.